So as I got better, um, having studied at MA level in theology, etc., I decided to um, try to engage with the atheists in a more positive light, and I tried to ask them for academic debates and really got nowhere with it. I had one um, de debate which wasn't academic and I had a, uh, a semi-academic debate but really I couldn't get these atheists to engage with any academic debate. What they wanted to do is to get you into a block TV or to try and sabotage you on Skype or try to break you down and exploit, exploit you uh, as, as, as you get upset trying to rattle you, trying to make you angry, etc. Anything like that they were interested in, but proper academic debate was a no-no with the atheists. And so there's a lot of frustration uh, that I got, because I, I really wanted to engage with the atheists on an academic level, uh, and was just getting nowhere. And what would happen, uh, controversies would start, where they would say, you said this, you said that, and, and silly controversies, and it was all about personal things. It wasn't about getting into the academic material, getting into the studying, etc., and really thrashing things out. And uh, it was tremendously frustrating for about two or three months, um, trying to get them to have academic debate, and they just wouldn't have any of it. And, uh, and they were only interested in exploiting people, especially if you were a young YouTuber. I watched as they would pounce on a young Christian YouTuber who just started and they were trying to explore, exploit them and pawn them and make them look stupid. Um, I was able to contact some of the famous atheists, um, but really they, they, they were only interested in making fun of you. They were not interested in sitting down and having proper academic discussion. And so I made quite a few videos where it's personal attack, they're personally attacking me and I'm attacking them and it, it wasn't fruitful at all. Um, but that came out of frustration because they just would not engage with any academic study or, or discussion. And I, I would go on at them and on at them about this, but it, it just never got anywhere really. Um, we had one kind of semi-academic debate, but it was a farce. It, it didn't. Um, it, it wasn't productive. It, it, it should have built bridges, it should have tried to help people to get on and that's one of the things I wanted to do is for atheists and Christians to get on and I felt this militant atheism was spoiling people from learning and getting on with each other. You know, in time, like before 9-11 you had Anthony Flew, you had um, people like Gary Habermas, Christian atheist, and they were getting on. And I, and I wanted people to get on like that, and I was just really, really against this militant, aggressive atheism. And I felt academic debates was a way of, of, of developing bridges and breaking down this aggression. But again, it, it was to no avail. The atheists would just continue their, their rhetoric and continue their, their um, underhanded tactics, really, and it was very difficult. So these videos really is just me wrapping up this period of time and um, just telling you the background of Atheism Under the Wrath of God video, where I came and how I came through and, and what happened uh, and, and where I am now. So basically, I, you know, I think that I've come to a point now where I've realised that I need to stay away from this militant atheism, that I, there's nothing that can be achieved with a militant atheist that they're going to go on the way they're going to go on, they're going to do what they're going to do, they're going to try and pawn people, they're going to be aggressive, they're going to abuse people, they're going to break people down, they're going to try and get you angry and exploit that anger, they're going to um, try every trick in the book, and I was unwise to, to take them on in, in, in a way. I was bold and courageous, but when I wasn't well, at the time, uh, when I wasn't at my best, uh, to go into that kind of group and try to take them on in a political kind of way was perhaps not the best thing to do.
the best thing to do would have been to, to get some healing, to relax for a couple of years, get some healing, and then go into what I prefer, what I enjoy, which is teaching the Bible. But I've learned from my mistakes. But the thing is, uh, I need to tell this story so that when you see my videos, you can decipher where they're at, what what setting they were in, and and you get the the sort of whole picture, the whole hermeneutical package of all those videos. Many good videos, but some videos that that um, that are not my best. And not we're not at my best. Uh, so thanks for listening.